Hey guys, James here from Adreno Scuba Diving. Just here to talk about the new Fasia Comfort 6 range of wetsuits that we've got. We've got, uh, got a couple of great options in the men's and ladies and a 5mm and a 7mm option for everybody. So first I'll start by looking at the Bechet Fasia Comfort 6 in the men's 5mm wetsuit. Um, this is one of the best wetsuits I think for scuba diving that we carry. Very soft, fantastic, great quality in airplane, very, very comfortable. And I've got a few really great features. First of all, we'll start with the front of the suit here. Obviously, nice, big, preformed, long cut panels. So very, very comfortable and wears well throughout your torso. One really great feature you don't see on many wetsuits these days is the little zip around the neck. One of the issues you'll see, or some people do have, with a wetsuit is that it constricts around the neck a little bit. So it actually has this fantastic little zipper that you can help you know, alleviate some pressure and stress off your, off your neck there when you're wearing it on a boat ride so you don't feel you know, particularly claustrophobic or a bit gross. Um, one of the other great features around the neck that we have here, we've got fantastic smooth skin lining. So what this does is with a little bit of moisture and a little bit of water, it actually sticks to your neck as well a little bit when you're in the water and helps create a really fantastic seal whilst you're diving. Uh, still on the outside here with the suit and with this semi-dry seal, these are full semi-dry wetsuits, you've got your semi-dry seals on the wrists here, which you also have down here on the ankles. Fantastic feature of these guys, okay, obviously makes it nice and easy to put on and off. But having these semi-dry seals, it means you can fold them in. It gives you a great seal. Again, helps prevent that flush of water through the suit. But also you've got with the semi-dry seal, the way it's on there, you can see how it's slightly recessed around here, which means if you're wearing gloves, your glove can fit actually inside that semi-dry seal. So giving you a complete warm seal there. It is smooth skin around the edge there. So if you do have a glove with a smooth skin seal, it will stick to that, providing you again, that nice, fantastic, very, very warm seal. You've also got this little feature here, which is pretty unique to the Boche suits, you don't see it on too many. It does seem like it's a little bit of a, a funny, kind of weird thing to have, a little bit of neoprene with some Velcro on the back. But obviously it's done to suit someone with a wrist computer. So you've got these two little holes on either side and the tab of Velcro. The idea of that is you'd slide that under your computer and put it on while you're diving. It's actually gonna stop your dive computer from slipping around your wrist, which is a, a fairly common problem. And I mean, obviously people can fiddle, it's not a major issue, but just a little cool feature that they've got here on the Boche suits. Also, you've got this little clip here. Okay, there's a few models of, of wetsuit hood that have a clip attached, so if you don't want to have to hold your hood, you can clip it there. Okay, just a little sort of unique feature they've got. You've also got, we'll flick over to the, the back here. Alrighty, the back on the suit you'll see you've got this nice big stretch panel here. So what that does between the leg cut, where, you sort of, where your bum goes and where the zip goes, it creates a nice level of stretch. So when you're actually doing the wetsuit up, it's nice and easy. Okay, it gives you a bit more flex through the torso when you're putting it on. All right, on the back here, we'll just go up to the main zip here. Okay, you've got your little tab here for you can hold on to. Give yourself a bit of grip to be able to do the wetsuit up yourself along with this nice, easy to use lanyard. Okay, good, nice, thick TKK zipper, but you've also got, again, this smooth skin seal that runs along the inside of the zipper. And as you can see, it's slightly ribbed here. It creates a nice big channel there. And then this is offset against that on that side. So when you're doing that up, they're actually gonna stick together. It gives you that great seal because one of the main areas that you have an issue with water coming into a wetsuit is through the zipper on pretty much any wetsuit because obviously the teeth are still going to allow small amounts of air through or water in this case. Okay, so having that smooth skin seal gives you that much tighter, firmer seal to stop water from flushing through the wetsuit. Second thing we've got here, and you can see this fantastic, really lovely fluorescent greeny yellow colour, nice and high vis. This is called the fire skin lining. So this is on all the Boche for Sea suits, the 5mm and the 7mm as well and that just helps reflect your body heat against you. So when you're in the water, you've got a little bit of water inside the suit that's keeping you warm. This, pressed against your skin, fitting nice and firmly, will help reflect your body heat back on you. So again, another additionally great function to give you that extra little bit of warmth there while you're diving in a five mil suit. Um, what you'll also see as well, which is a little bit different with a lot of the Boche suits, compared to some other wetsuits, they're actually preformed. So if you have a look at the arms here, you can actually see that it's slightly curved, okay, which is going to make it a little bit more comfortable while you're wearing. And you have the same thing on the legs too. 
And with that preforming, you've got, you can see here, this slightly corrugated, uh, relaxed section. Well, not relaxed, it's sort of, yeah, pre-stretched almost. So what that is to do is to give you a better range of flexibility and motion in your arms. And you've got the same feature on the back of the knees as well. And again, through this section under your arm here on the torso. So again, it's giving you that better range of, uh, of flexibility. It's part of one of the benefits of the Alaskan wetsuit material that they've got. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, I'll flick down to the legs on the wetsuit. Again, much like the wrists on the wetsuit here, you've got this giant semi-dry seal. So again, really fantastic feature. It stops water flushing through the suit, okay? The way to have a semi-dry seal is actually to fold that back on itself. A lot of people will have it there. The reason why is because the idea is to stop water flushing in and out of a semi-dry suit, okay? Because how a wetsuit works is you get a small amount of water in the wetsuit, your body will heat that up, and that's what's keeping you warm. So you don't want that water to flush in and out of the suit. Obviously, for those who pee in their wetsuit, you might want to flush it out at the end of a dive, okay? But having that good recess seal there, it's smooth skin, it'll stick, again, do it up. Nice good seal. The other fantastic part about this, again, much like the wrists with the gloves, they're recessed. So you can fit your boots in under there. Very, very easy. Give yourself a nice seal. And having these zips on the wrists and ankles does give you a pretty good, uh, pretty good uh, easy access to take your feet in and out of the wetsuit. Um, and then, yeah, finally, in terms of the suits, as I mentioned, the smooth skin seal we've got around the neck here. Okay, you've also just got your nice, easy Velcro seal. Pretty small there. Gives you a nice, firm, sort of secure seal at the back there. Again, smooth skin around the neck. That's pretty much it, really, for these guys. Obviously, this one here we've got is the men's Fasia Comfort 6 in a 5mm model. Okay? And this one I've got here is the ladies for Fasia Comfort 6 in a 5mm model. As you can see, obviously, you've got the sort of green and yellow decals on the men's and the ladies. Nice and blue and sparkly, look fantastic. Okay, these also come in a seven millimeter wetsuit variation. The difference between this, like these two suits, and the seven mil is basically two millimeters of thickness. All the other features are the same. You've got your same sort of flexible preformed cuffs. You've got your semi-dry seals on the wrists and ankles along with zips. You've got your neck seal here along with smooth skin and that little slightly lighter bit of elastic neoprene around the side there. Wet, uh, computer retainer, back zip, you know, your tab here for your zipper, reinforced grip on the buttocks there, and same deal again on the inside. You've got your fire skin lining, but on the lady suit, they've just made it a flashy, nice orange, as opposed to your incredibly bright high vis yellow for the men's wetsuit. Hi guys, thanks for watching. Uh, just talking about the Boche wetsuits here. The scuba suits. They can be found on all of our, web, uh, our websites www.scubadiving.com.au, uh, www.wetsuitwarehouse.com.au. If you've got any queries, click us an email on sales at scubadiving.com.au or jump on our websites.